the question is what should be the distance of mta from the apex during revascularization so revascularization is a type of regenerative endodontic procedures in such cases what you do is a patient who is one of the most important criteria for revascularization is that the patient should be young why is this important is because in young patients the blood flow is better and the healing response would be better in young patients as compared to olders so now you have a patient who is 5 years old and has undergone trauma you see typical blunderbuss canals in such a patient and the apex is uh, blunted and it is immature in such patients what you can do is you will take a file you will irritate the periapical tissues over here through the file and then you would induce bleeding into the canal so in this situation you have induced bleeding and there is blood flowing in from the periapical tissues into the canal all the way up to the pulp chamber okay so this is what is revascularization so in revascularization one more important criteria the most important criteria is that there should be complete disinfection or dis disinfection of the root canal space that is present because if there is any form of infection then your procedure will be a complete failure also regenerative procedures are very time consuming you are supposed to follow up the patient for a minimum of at least 3 years and a maximum of 4 5 years so it is a very long process and such patients are supposed to follow up and report to you in order for you to assess whether your regenerative procedure has been a success or not so what you do is after you induce bleeding into the canal you want to ensure that the blood that has flown in does not flow out again also second point is that you want to ensure that this canal which has been formed sorry the root which was blunted wants to has to become an, a mature root and it has to close the apex so mpa has been shown to be a very significantly great material in such situations what it does is it helps in formation of a cemental like substance or it also helps in stimulating the cementoblasts which are present at the apex or the cementoblast like uh, stem cells which are present at the apex or in the periapical tissues and it helps in uh helping it helps in completion of the root apex formation and that is the reason why you need to pay place mda at the uh, apical area however this mta should be at a position of 1 to 3 mm from the apex why is that so is because studies have been conducted and it was seen that when mta is placed at a distance of 1 to 3 mm it helps in very good dental bridge formation dentinal bridge formation as well as cementogenesis as compared to all other uh, measurements and that is the reason why you place it at this position 